words, no stressing. No words, no stressing. Cause life is a blessing, it go away in a second. Cause life is a blessing, it go away in a second. Man, I gotta keep it stepping. Man, I gotta keep it stepping. No words, no stressing. No words, no stressing. Cause life is a blessing, it go away in a second. Just a little taste there of what we can expect. So Farah, tell me, for those who don't know, what is socially conscious music? Socially conscious music is an art form of your truth and how you see the world and what you've experienced and what is going around you and your community. And it's a unique way of telling a story and using music as a form of expression. And it could be said that young people and also musicians who maybe produce that sort of music mm -hmm. are getting a bit of a bad rap at the moment. And is the collective a way of maybe changing that? It is. Uh, we have a very diverse group of young people from the ages of 13, 14, all the way to 25. And the songs and the, the music that they've created is challenging what, how young people are seen today. And uh, Ella, tell me, how did you get involved in the collective? It was a mutual friend of mine did it last year and so I just saw it on her Instagram story and it looked really cool. So I applied. And tell me some of the things that you've learned there. I've learned um, like to collaborate a lot more and to just be be more confident basically in like my own songwriting ability and like performance. Yeah. Amazing. And Velvet Gravel, have you sort of produced your own music then since you've been with the collective? Yeah, yeah. I produced my own um, solo track for the collective and I produced one of the other uh, musicians' uh, tracks as well. And have you seen your music evolve since you've been with the collective? Yeah, um, particularly in the other musicians' track. It was something that I would never have typically done, but because of being in this kind of group and you're set out here to help each other, um, I was brought in to do that and, and kind of challenged me and I was like, really surprised by what I ended up making because I never would have went there usually. Great, so a collaborative process exactly, for everybody. Yeah. And, and Farah, how have you seen young people transform since they sort of start the course? I think we all see this as well. When we did it the first year last year, uh, at the beginning, young people are shy. They're still trying to find out who they are as an artist, how they want to tell their story, uh, what kind of style that they want to pursue. The first week is just you know stepping, in, you know, putting your foot in there. But as the weeks progressed, what I was really proud of, and the music leaders are proud of as well, is they've become the collective as opposed to the individual working on your own and being isolated. They're, they're supporting each other, they're collaborating, they're producing really powerful music. And just to see that full transformation come through in the 15 weeks is incredible because they're not only, like Ella said, they build their confidence, self-esteem, but they're owning their song and they're owning their, the, the power of their, their craft. So it's incredible to see that transformation happen in 15 weeks. And do you get surprised every year about the talent that walks through the doors? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I, we, like, I remember like when we interviewed the this year's cohort and every musician that came through our jaws dropped and we just couldn't believe how talented they were and um, and what's disheartening is that the lack of confidence in themselves they had some beautiful voices they had beautiful music that they produced and it's incredible there's a lot of hidden gems in the community that just needs to be supported and brought to the limelight. Yeah, and uh, Ella, there's a show tomorrow. Yeah, you'll be performing in it. Tell us what what you'll be doing. So I'm doing one song that I wrote on my own and that Joshua is featuring on. Oh, which great. Is very exciting. And then another song that I wrote like, in a group with another girl. Are you at all nervous about it or do you just want to get up on the stage now? Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've somehow managed to bag myself a lot of time on stage <laughs> <laughs> on my performances and other people's. So um, yeah, yeah, I just want to kind of get into it and so we can all enjoy it. And what would you say are your ambitions now going forward? Um, immediately is to kind of continue working with um, everybody in the in the collective and then after that kind of beginning to release my own stuff and kind of working further afield with with other musicians and kind of just keep developing and uh, keep challenging myself I think that was the biggest thing for me I applied because I felt like it would be challenging and it was and it's kind of instilled me to kind of take on more challenges and Ella what about you what about your ambitions going forward yeah, I would say about the same. I'd like to carry on working with most of the people there, really. But then, yeah, just continue writing songs and releasing them, putting more kind of out than previously. And why do you think that music is such a good way to, to bring people together? 
I think music is, an, like at Upress, what we believe is in the power of words and stories to change lives for the better. And the way we do that is we use the creative arts and write to empower young people and community members to find their voice and be heard. And music is another form of storytelling. It has a unique way of interacting and capturing the essence of the message. It's a universal language. Everyone understands music. Everyone feels the emotions and, and experiences of the artist. And he's like, Velvet Gravel and Ella are very talented artists that can take you on that journey and get you to live in their shoes for a moment. So yeah, music is a powerful method. Really. And what sort of things do you write about in your music? I guess it, it I mean, it's broad um, between mine and, and Ella's track is, is very, very, but I think my song particularly is kind of a song of my moment right now, which kind of just like taking responsibility kind of for your own actions and kind of once you own that, then you know your journey is on you, kind of to push forwards. But then, I guess the verse I did for Ella, she maybe she'll talk about is is <laughs> completely different. Yeah, well, so tell us about that. Yeah, so my song is kind of based on like there's lots of things I'd heard like girls around me saying, so mostly about like self esteem. Um, and so Joshua kind of plays like the bad boyfriend in it, which is <laughs> <laughs> which is fun. But, yeah. That's really good. And with the collective, mm -hmm. what would you say to, to a young person who's maybe thinking about applying but was still being held back a bit? I would say to them, if they really believe in their craft, take the risk, do it. it. The reward is incredible what you get out of it. Even the 2018 collective have come back as mentors to support yeah. this year's cohort. And they've gone to release their own music, they've gone further in terms of their career, and we've even actually managed to push them to get performances and gigs for them to be paid for their work as well. So if you really like believe in your craft and you want your chance to, to develop those core skills or makes you as a great artist, sign up, don't waste any opportunity like this. And the, the show tomorrow, mm -hmm. tell me what, what we can expect, not just from these young musicians, mm -hmm. but from all of them. Um, you can expect a journey, a journey through young people's experience. It's a, it's a unique journey because you get to experience full spectrum of what it means to be a young person in London and what it means to be an artist. So it's, it's going to be an incredible night. Uh, there's no words to describe it. It's just you have to come and experience it. <laughs> you have to be there at the front row, just absorbing it in. And, and, and you're going to be leave, leaving the concert singing all the songs. It's going to be stuck in your head for like a week. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that one we've heard. Of. It's already stuck in my head. <laughs> well, Farah, Ella, Velvet Gravel, thank you so much for coming in. Let's tell people where it's on. So the collective's Conscious Music Concert is tomorrow at the Rich Mix in Bethnal Green.